If you thought dark bloop was big, wait until you see space bloop. Yeah. Hello everybody, I'm Kyla Keen and welcome back to more insane animations by Pandy. This is Axolotlzilla, I think is the name of this thing. I Axolotlzilla, yeah. That you're just making up stuff at this point, and you know, honestly, I respect it and I love it. Um, this is Axolotlzilla. Yeah, hello. You're very ugly, for the record. Sorry, um, no offense, even though I just called you ugly to your face. But he's gonna battle Bloopzilla. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, I was not expecting him to pop out so fast. Did. Hold up! Did Axolotlzilla just pull like a full-on like Matrix bullet dodge situation? Or did Bloopzilla like break his back but he is actually like made of gelatin? I, I don't know, it doesn't matter either way, it's still very scary. Dude, for real? You just gonna shoot a laser straight at his face right off the bat? My guy! just caught a laser beam. That doesn't seem fair. You're glowing. And it's not because you're pregnant. It's because you're shooting lasers out of your face. <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> Quote that one. That's that's a winner. Anyways, um, Bloopzilla's dead. Bloopzilla's not dead. What are you? We, okay, wait, so people were educating me on some of the names of these creatures. Um, I, I don't know, this is like Baby Bloopzilla, I think, I don't, I don't know. I, honestly, I read the comments and then I, I forgot them, I'm sorry. That, that submarine was in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're like, hey fellas, wanna go out on the submarine? Ah! We're all dead. Just get hit by a giant axolotlzilla. Okay, I think Bloopzilla's mad because that's baby Bloopzilla. That's its child. How dare you? <laughs> can, can you guys close your mouths? It's very rude to, you know, eat with your mouth open. <laughs> Their mouths are always open. <laughs> so dumb. I love it. I love these animations. They're so good. What are you doing? What is happening? He just, he just blew himself up. Bloopzilla and baby Bloopzilla are dead. There's always a bigger bloop. There's always a bigger bloop. That is the lesson. Axolotlzilla. Oh, so he sacrificed himself? No, he didn't. I thought, yeah, maybe he sacrificed himself, but he didn't. Also, this image is awesome. Man. These animations are so good. Let's watch more. And you guys are definitely going to want to stick around. I have one video that we're going to watch called Space Bloop versus Void Ghidorah. What does that even mean? Wait till the end. We'll find out together. But next up, we got another Axolotlzilla the battle. What is... What are you... Okay, this guy's name... Okay, hold on. This guy's name is Dunkleosteus Godzilla. Say that 10 times fast. Or don't. Just don't. It's too many words. It's too many syllables. What are you? I, I love that Axolotlzilla is back. But he's battling something that I don't think is supposed to exist. You're you're an abomination. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, you're all abominations. Um, he has a force field. Remember, Axolotlzilla, though, can blow up, I guess. Yeah, take that. Laser face. Smack him. Smack him again. Give him another smack. <laughs> I don't like... I don't like, uh, Dunkleosteus Godzilla's face. Something about his mouth is, is weirding me out. He's got a real hot neck now. Got him. Right in the neck. He can heal. I think the implication there is that he can, like, he's basically the Wolverine of Godzilla's. That seems not fair, to to be perfectly honest. What's he doing? Oh, it's like, it's like an even bigger punch because it had glowing power. 
I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but oh, this makes me so happy. I love these animations so much. He, okay, he did the he did the explodey thing, but now like he's mastered it, so it doesn't hurt him anymore. I don't know. He did that thinking that he was sacrificing himself against Bloobzilla, and then he was fine. So now he's he's like accustomed his his body to blowing up. You're just you're just on fire. What Lavazilla? Who? Where'd you come from? If Godzilla went Super Saiyan, is that what is happening here? Dude, he's he's gonna get just nuked. Yep. Yep. He just one hit. Dunkleo Stais Godzilla. I have to look at the name of it every single time because I'm never gonna remember that. Um, are we friends? Is Axolotzilla and Lavazilla? Best friends? Are we all friends now? No, nobody's friends. There are no friends in the world of Godzilla. What the heck just happened? I want more Lavazilla. That's probably not even what he's called, but I like it. We're back to Bloop. There he is. In all his just open mouth glory. Just always open mouth. How, he, he must be a mouth breather. And this, okay, this is Red Bluster. This is an interesting design. You kind of look like a Pokemon. I like you. Wait, you only... You only have arms? Does he only... I want to see him swimming. Will you... Show me show me him swimming. Yeah? Yeah, he's just like... He's like a weird Godzilla seal. <laughs> it's... Again, is a sentence I never thought I would say. A Godzilla seal, of course. Um, hello? Are you friends? No one is ever friends in the world of Godzilla. When will we ever learn this? It's like every kaiju, their only purpose in life is to just fight each other. Find some meaning more than just hurting each other. It's, it's wild, but I, I like this red bluster guy. Plus, his name is really easy to say, <laughs> which is a huge win when you've spent the last, you know, 10 minutes saying stuff like Axolotlzilla and, and Dunkleosteus the Go Monsterzilla. I don't even know. I don't even know. What? Shin Godzilla? Are you the Lavazilla that we saw earlier? Do not wake Lavazilla. What are you doing? He's so much bigger than you. Why are you making him mad? Also, what happened to the bloops? Where'd the bloops go? There was two bloops. The bloops have left? Oh, no, there they are. They're like, oh, look, a big monster. Let's try to eat it. It's not gonna go well. Oh, oh, dang. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, not gonna end well for bloops. <laughs> yep, just lasered them in half. Fair enough. Um, Red Bluster, he's like, oh, I'm out. I'm, I'm not sticking around. Smart. Smart guy. There. Should always just, you know, keep your, keep your eyes on the road, as they say. Um, or you'll get eaten by a bloop. All right, this is the moment we've been waiting for. This is Space Bloop. He looks so, like, ancient. Okay, this is our introduction to Space Blue. He eats planets, as you would expect of a giant floating space fish, shark monster. Um, he hello? What are? What was that? There was there was a, a three-headed golden monster just flying around the Earth. Okay. Anyways, we'll, we'll focus on what's happening here. I think this is gonna give us maybe some. Some scale, like, okay, are they hearing Space Bloop right now? Yes, yes they are. He's up there just sending out the, the Bloop call. The universal Bloop call. And all the Bloops are reacting? They're not reacting, they're getting eaten. He just ate Earth. You know what, I really hate it when giant space fish whales eat my planet. It's just, it really puts a damper on your day, you know? 
sure. Godzilla riding dark bloop. It happens. I mean, how else are you going to pass the time when your planet just got swallowed? by a giant space whale. It's the end of the world. Hop on top of the dark bloop and go for a ride. Oh, but space bloop is not done. Oh, no, no, no. This is space bloop versus void Ghidorah. What is that? I don't know. I, I'm hoping that I'll find out. He's eating galaxies. He's just eating entire galaxies now. You ate Earth, was it not enough? His, his, his hunger is, is insatiable. Okay, this is void Ghidorah. Your your Shenlong from from DBZ. We've we've combined all the Dragon Balls and summoned the dragon who will grant your wishes. <laughs> what is this? Dude, Void Ghidorah, you're insane. Get him. He's made of energy, I assume, and that probably is hurting both of them, I would have to imagine. Th this is the crazy thing, is that we just watched Space Bloop, eat Earth. Oh, good. There's more. There's more Void Ghidorahs. Of course there is. This one's not enough. But we just watched Space Bloop eat Earth. So just like think about the scale here. I mean, these things are just, just massive. There's, there's no way around it. They're just absolutely huge. You're just shooting energy. Yep. Space Bloop not looking so good. Take that. I wonder how Earth is doing in, like, his stomach right now. Getting getting all digested and whatnot. <laughs> it's not a great day for Earth. But on the bright side, at least Godzilla is getting a ride on Dark Loop right now. So that's pretty sweet. I love the idea of them just endlessly swimming around this ocean that is getting dissolved in the, the gut of space bloop. There are so many things that I've said in this video that out of context make absolutely no sense and i think that's why i love these videos so much this is this is getting intense we've got three void Ghidorahs. he just ate the portal he's yep space bloop can eat portals that we can add that to the the lore of uh, of space bloop to be continued i assume Yo, that is insane. Well, that was fun. I like Space Bloop, even though he ate my planet.